All right, today we try and fix the Infinium oscilloscope. 500 megahertz, four channels. Let's get this thing open and see what it does. First, we gotta plug it in. Now, if I remember correctly, the fan's going, so it's very loud. Yeah, gonna need to replace that fan. All right. As you can see here, maybe you can't see, let's try. It's booting up, so it's actually going in through a whole uh, 1996. So it's older, we already knew that. Kicking into, oh, Windows 98, yes. Still waiting, this is riveting, riveting commentary. Interesting, notice how there's no, nothing lighting up there, I wonder if there's some damage. Huh. We'll have to find out. Ah, here we go. Splash screens. And then we get here. So, this had a network login, and we don't have that. I do have a keyboard with a DIN connector, an old style one, so I've actually gone to the PS2 to the DIN, and I had to dig this up. I actually had to buy this part, because I didn't have one. Plug it in here. Plug it in, plug it in. Might have to uh, overdub this. It's kind of loud. Let's just see. Enter. Ha! Huh. Still getting stuck. Let's try and uh, restart with the keyboard attached and see what happens. Alright, so this isn't working. So, let's take it apart. So let's see what we've actually got here. So we've got the front end, and we've got a screen. It is not a CRT screen. It's a... Uh, little TFT screen in here. So we've got an actual old computer. I don't know if this surprised any of you that have ever opened up one of these, but there's your hard drive. You've got processor there. Well, that's a fun little board. Uh, tell us some good, what do we got back here? We've got network card, parallel port, SATA maybe. Uh, looks like an audio card, video card. Uh, some, that must be the, I think this is for the front end control. Oh, got another piece, uh, got another card slot there, I'm losing my mind. Oh, we've got some RAM slots, if I can find RAM, would fit in this thing. PCI, PI, no, PCI, yeah, it's been a while, PCI. Uh, looks like we've got, is that S-Video? I think that's S-Video. And we've got some COM ports, parallel port, keyboard controls. So, yeah. All right, big fan is here. It's making all that noise. So maybe we replace it or we, um, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can lubricate it or something. Figure that out. This is the power supply. This big guy right there is power supply. So, on what I, I had this open before and what I thought I noticed was a header. And I was wondering if I could get some U, there we go. See right down in there and it's hard to see. It says PS2 mouse, floppy, keyboard. So I'm wondering if I can get, there's a USB header right down there. So I can get USB on here, then uh, we can plug some, some stuff in here and hopefully get this thing working a little better. So I gotta go see what I find, um, dig around, see if we can find a USB uh, port connect to a header. I'm sure I've got one on an old computer somewhere. <laughs> So I found this. It's uh, USB ports, I'm not gonna worry about the audio, um, to a header, to a plug. So we'll see if, uh, we'll get this attached, and then see if um, we can get keyboard and mouse into this, and then hopefully get past that screen. All right. USB ports, let's, USB mouse, and a USB keyboard. All right, let's see what happens. It's so quiet, you can barely hear it.
I gotta admit, I can't tell if the sound's actually coming from the CPU fan or from the hard drive. Hopefully it's not the hard drive. Yeah. No power coming through that. Not, not working so well here. Looks like it's research time. So, I am a keeper of old technology. What I have here is an old USB PCI adapter card. I've got to clean it up a little bit. I uh, blew that one, I think. I don't remember the full story. And I had to do a soldering job. But it all looks good, I think. Got to clean up a little bit. Some crud on the... Some schmuck. Some schmoo, as some people might say it. On uh, on the uh, on the pins. But let's go from there. We'll get this uh, cleaned up and installed and see what happens. All right. Cards installed, USB is connected. Let's fire it up and see what happens. Hopefully no spark. Interesting. Back to the drawing board. All right, I removed the PCI card. I'm trying to remember, it's been a long time if uh, on the different versions of PC, if uh, PCI, if there was eventually a non-backwards compatible one. I, I just don't remember if maybe this card is just bad. Let's, um. Let's see if we can get to a uh, a login screen here or some type of screen. Okay. So, we didn't cook anything. So that's a good thing. Nothing's broken yet. Lo and behold, if you keep enough years worth of crap, you will eventually find something useful. This is a PS2 mouse. Earlier, I believe I said something about a... I don't know what I said. Some... Anyways, mislabeled the port. Anyways, it's a PS2 mouse. So I found one in the garage in a box full of old computer parts. So we're going to plug it in and we'll see if maybe we can get something working here. That's a good sign. Also, a very good sign. Floptical. Didn't notice that before. I like it. not in central time. I'm in eastern time and that makes my time 3 44 p.m. So I don't know when this video is going to come out but as you can see today is August 31st. Fly. Wow that's really loud. Ooh, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Hey. Ho ho. Wow. <laughs> yes. All right. So, working. Need to find probes that's going to fit for it. We should check the VGA connection to see if it'll work on an extra screen. And we got to figure out what's going on with that sound. But, things are looking good. So it looks like we've got some libraries here. I have to dig into some of this stuff. I'm not sure what all this stuff is. Wow. Excellent. So the sound's definitely coming from in here. I... I think... I think it's that one. I think that guy right there, the, um... This guy right here, the fan, is what's, uh, what's sounding rough. I think this guy's okay, so I'm gonna see if I have maybe another fan that runs a little smoother. But outside of that, things are looking really good. So I was giving my head a scratch, trying to think of uh, if I had one of these little fans down here. And before I started rooting around everywhere, I thought um, I could just test each system individually. And I don't want to unplug the fan just in case this processor overheats and causes damage. But I can easily unplug just this hard drive, turn it on and see if we still hear the noise or not. They'll know if it's the hard drive or the fan. That what my friends is thinking. So. Do that. Yeah. So that screaming sound is is this little fan there and not the hard drive. So we have uh, we've identified the culprit and hopefully we can find a replacement. Alright, so I ended up, as you can see, I uh, I found a fan. This is why you keep years and years worth of used computer parts in buckets all over your house and drive your wife 
crazy and, and your kids don't have space for their toys because you kept computer parts, but if you're repairing an old oscilloscope and you need a small fan, you might luck out and find one. It's not a perfect fit, but it snapped over the uh, heat sink here real nicely. It plugs in and I'll fire it up for you and let's hear how quiet this is. Oh, it's music to my ears. So, I think it's actually a more efficient fan too. So anyways, looks like the unit's working. It's booting up just fine. So we're going to reassemble it and get it back up on top of the bench ready for use. got here is the infinium scope up here is an external monitor as you can see right now i'm just measuring peak to peak and it's uh, a little hard to see down there and get in but uh it's very precise it's check chat charting everything i've got this connected to currently my function generator here which i've just got a uh, 600 hertz signal at uh two volts so that's kind of what's happening two volts you know one side so it's four volts i don't know if you can see that but four volts because it's two above two below so anyways a little bit of variation so the scope works the keyboard controls all work i don't have great probes i'm just using um the probes i've got for one of my other scopes but voila it all works it came back together if you can hear it's much quieter than before so that's the finished product